everyone. I'm going to do a project I don't think anybody's done before. I hope you enjoy this. Um, do you remember the last uh, project I did with the flower pot circuit? Well, this is it. And I tried to tidy it up and all, all kinds of things. And I broke the wire off there. It's a very flimsy wire indeed there. And when it's, once it's broke, that's it. The whole circuit is, is mashed up. So I had one years ago. I found it and I did the same thing. So I broke it open to find out, but it's all integrated, so you can't really do anything with it. And so I've got two useless flower pot circuits here. So if you ever do uh, try to use this, be careful with this lead, glue it all on so it doesn't move, etc. And so you can use it for a long time. Anyway, so I've got no more flower pot circuits. So what I thought I would do is I would use. Um, quartz clock circuit which I had done a video on a quartz clock before um, it was a pulse circuit so we had a LED on there and I already had this circuit wired up as it is as you can see a couple of wires coming out of there and this is the battery wire so I've wired it all up this is the uh, the battery and do you remember last time I did did my um, the last project I did which I'd said I didn't like the way it was so I've redone this project again uh, made it more neater and better so this is a magnet on there now and this is still a little um, screw there and if I put this on here this circuit works so I brought it into the light a little bit so we can see it more clearly um, this working this works nicely indeed and I'm not really going to leave it like that working on this particular circuit here on this one because I want to get another flat pot circuit or get another circuit altogether and use for that as you can see it's working nicely what you have to do with this particular circuit is bring this one right down to there if I bring it up here this wobbles and falls off so guys what I've done is I've built another something I copied lead motor I did on this and it wasn't really easy to do but I've done it as you can see there's a needle there and there's a screw there and it goes on there and what I intend to do is put that quartz clock circuit onto this and get it to run on 1.5 volts so guys I wound another coil here I'm just checking the resistance of this one because I put more turns than the other one and that's showing 28.3 ohms which is fine I think it should work this is a very rough setup here, but as you can see, um, I'm just I just put that coil on there, and it's working beautifully indeed. And that is the circuit there from the quartz clock, working on a 1.5 volt battery right here. So, so, yep, I like it. As you can see, it's working because it keeps turning. And if I move this away, it will stop working. There you go. So I'm happy with that. I shall complete it. So this is the final result, guys. Here we have a coil and we have that um, clock um, mechanism there, a pulse circuit and the battery. I have tried this with the solar panel and it didn't work and I think it needs a bit more current for what reason I'm not sure I'm not sure if that circuit takes more current or or whether the coil needs to be a higher resistance as you can see it wobbles a bit because the pulse is not 100% coming all the time I kind of it's like a hit and miss kind of thing
I have really enjoyed this project. Please subscribe, thumbs up and leave a comment.